Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I want to start this video off with a confusing view, which is a treat for your eyes, because these are actually a treat for your ears as well. This is the Antline Kimura Solo, which are in-ear headphones with a microphone built into them, which transforms it into a headset. And I want to talk to you about what these are like, because they are remarkably impressive. Now, Antline's well known for its audio prowess in terms of its microphone setup. Indeed, I did a video a while back on the mod mic, which is essentially allows you to add a fantastic microphone to any headset. But now we have these wonderful in-ears with a particularly good microphone, at least in theory. Now, I'm using a microphone now for the voiceover for this video, and I'll talk a bit more about it later on, obviously, because it's the big selling point of it. The mic is actually designed to work with a variety of in-ears, but you have a choice of using it with the solos or duos. So there's two different sorts of IEMs, in-ear monitors, as options from Antlion, which allow you to have different audio soundscapes. I went for the solos when given the option because they are known for having more bass, so deliver a better bass experience, and that's my preference in terms of audio, but you can get a wider range of treble and clarity with the duo, so check out the links in the description to find out more about that. But inside the box you'll see that you have a little carry case, an adapter which we'll get to in a second, a number of different ear tips, and then obviously the setup of the IEMs and the microphone as well as a nice long cable, so there's a decent length of cable in there which is good enough for plugging into the back of your PC into the motherboard or using the adapter to connect it up to other things but well, that cable also has a clothing clip on it so you can attach it to your shirt for example so it doesn't get in the way now what i was struck by initially when even asked about these is just the design of them because they're really nice looking as you saw from those initial shots so obviously the solo has this really attractive red design to it with the gold logos on them but also just a real classy look unusual stands out in a number of ways and also just looks really nice for the amount of money you're paying the whole thing is detachable though so you can detach this off of here and the reason for that is as i said the actual selling point is the microphone which will work with any iem so the connection is basically designed to work with the in-ear monitors and allow you to use that mic on other things if you want to or you can make the most of antlion's own in ears here in the form of the solos which are actually really good and i'll get to the audio experience in a little while but i was very surprised by it now obviously you have the different ear tips which are easily removable so you could just tug those off and then swap to the ones that you prefer and there's a mix of silicone and foam ones to choose from so you can find a good fit for your ear but obviously also this is good because it helps to deliver a passive noise cancellation to eliminate the outside world and i was really surprised by the sound quality that these little things can deliver too so it's not just the visuals of a close-up view of what they look like in terms of looking really nice and the fit but also just the sound and punch of these things as well. As you can hear, the microphone is really nice, although I'll show you a sound test later on on how much background audio it picks up if you're using a keyboard, for example. So there is some downsides to it, but it does have a very nice fit and an interesting number of highlights here. As standard out of the box, you have the in-ears, which are set up with these adjustable bands that sit over the top of your ear and this has its ups and downs because i found that they're a bit of a finicky design to get on and off but to adjust them into a position that's suitable for you is fairly easy and really comfortable as well the microphone setup comes as standard with the two cables so you have one for your mic and one for the headphones and then you've got this adapter which basically turns that into a single connector so if you're using a front panel on your PC or some other device, you can easily plug these in. Obviously, clearly marked green being for the headphones and pink for the microphone. Just slot that into the adapter and then you can plug that in wherever you need to. Or if you're just using two ports on the back of your PC on your motherboard on a sound card, for example, then obviously you have that option. So you've got plenty of options in what you can do with that. And as I said, the cable is nice and long too. I haven't found it so long that it gets in the way and it's a good enough material as well that it doesn't rub on the clothing 
and become an annoyance there. So I want to talk about the fitment of them and how they sit in the ear. So the design is basically meant to put them in at an angle and then twist them round in the ear so that the cable notches behind your ear. The cables then can be adjusted in and indeed they say that you should mould it to the shape of the ear so it hooks round behind. The, the ear tip design here is really well done as well because it does sit in the ear really nicely and I don't feel like they're going to fall out. And this setup means they push in really well and then block out a lot of external noise with good passive noise cancellation. Obviously not the same as you'd get from over ear active noise cancellation, but I actually have found that it does a really good job of sort of eliminating surrounding noise and just letting you focus on the play. The mic is put on the right hand side and as you can see a little bit more tricky to adjust, but once you've got that sort of molded to your ear shape, it's perfectly fine there. You can see that it does work with glasses as well. And once I've got this sorted out, I actually found it's very comfortable. It might not seem like it's going to be, but it does work really well there. Obviously, if you've got a bit of a furry face like I have, then you can see that there might potentially be an issue with where the microphone sits and how close that's going to be to your beard. And that might be a problem if it's like roughing up against those. But generally speaking, I found it's been pretty good here and the overall experience has been quite nice. However, taking the earphones off and putting them back on again can be a bit of a faff. And you do have the option to clip them to your clothing, so you can stop that from being a problem, which is also beneficial. I want to address something that you might have noticed in this video, and that's that the microphone quality is not as good as you'd hope from something that is basically aimed at being just about the mic quality. I mean, it is, after all, by Antlion and the microphone is meant to be the main selling point and yet it's picked up a lot of background noise and other sort of hiss. I've had to actually use it in several devices in order to get it like that. A recording on the Surface Book and on the gaming laptop and on the gaming PC. The front panel connections and motherboard connections and I've just struggled to get it sounding perfect. You need to boost the audio up in terms of decibels and also maybe even apply some sort of noise cancellation or EQ. So it's going to depend on what you're plugging into, I think, and that's an important point here. And just to demonstrate that, I'm now actually plugging it into the, my camera, so this is directly connected to the camera, just so we've got a variety of sound sources to show it on what I have found. Just getting the mic sounding good has been a bit of a problem, but I also didn't want to apply a load of effects to the microphone to mislead you. So this is raw audio and it has been throughout the whole video that's just what it sounds like and you do have to boost it unfortunately as well so which is weird and the other thing to bear in mind is it does just it also picks up keyboard sounds as well so i think the conclusion of it on the microphone basis is i definitely wouldn't choose this over a dedicated microphone um, but that's unfortunate because the in-ears themselves are actually really good so the solos that deliver a fantastic audio experience really good bass, great range of sound, both for watching TV, movies, and listening to music, and obviously gaming as well. I've been playing Starfield and Alan Wake with these, and I've just found the quality's been really good. It's got a nice soundscape to it, and just delivering great audio. And as I said, the passive noise cancellation and the comfort's really there, but if you're buying purely for the microphone, then you might well be disappointed. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.